Myalgic encephalomyelitis is a disabling neurological disease that is very similar to multiple sclerosis and polio. Earlier names for ME were atypical MS and atypical polio. ME is a neurological disease characterised by scientifically measurable post-encephalitic damage to the brainstem. This damage is an essential part of ME, hence the name ME. The term ME was coined in 1956 and means muscle pain and brain and spinal cord inflammation. This neurological damage has been confirmed in autopsies of ME patients. Myalgic encephalomyelitis has been recorded by the World Health Organization's International Classification of Diseases since 1969 as a distinct organic neurological disease. ME is classified in the current WHO International Classification of Diseases with the neurological code G93.3. ME is primarily neurological but also involves cognitive cardiac cardiovascular, immunological, metabolic, respiratory, hormonal, gastrointestinal and musculoskeletal dysfunctions and damage. ME affects all vital bodily systems and causes an inability to maintain bodily homeostasis. More than 64 individual symptoms of ME have been scientifically documented. ME is an acute onset infectious neurological disease caused by a virus a virus with a 4-7 to seven day incubation period. ME occurs in epidemics as well as sporadically and over 60 ME outbreaks have been recorded worldwide since 1934. There is ample evidence that ME is caused by the same type of virus that causes polio, an enterovirus. ME can be at least as disabling as MS or polio and many other serious diseases. ME is one of the most disabling diseases that exists. More than 30% of ME patients are housebound, wheelchair reliant or bed bound and are severely limited with even basic movements and basic communication. The question is often asked, why are ME patients so severely and uniquely disabled? For a person to stay alive, the heart must pump a certain base level amount of blood. Every time a person is active, this increases the amount of blood the heart needs to pump. Every movement made or second spent upright, every word spoken, every thought thought, every word read or noise heard requires that more blood must be pumped by the heart. However, the hearts of ME patients only barely pump enough blood for them to stay alive. The circulating blood volume is reduced by up to 50%. So ME patients are severely limited in physical, cognitive and orthostatic exertion and sensory input. This problem of cardiac insufficiency is why every brief period spent walking or sitting, every conversation and every exposure to light or noise can affect ME patients so profoundly. Seemingly minor activities can cause significantly increased symptom severity and disability often with a 48 to 72 hour delay in onset. It can also cause prolonged relapse lasting months, years or longer, or permanent bodily damage, for example damage to the heart or organ failure. It can also cause disease progression or death. If activity levels exceed cardiac output by even 1%, death occurs. Thus the activity levels of ME patients must remain strictly within the limits of their reduced cardiac output just in order for them to stay alive. ME patients who are able to rest appropriately and avoid severe or prolonged overexertion have repeatedly been shown to have the most positive long-term prognosis. ME is a testable and scientifically measurable disease with several unique features. It is not difficult to diagnose and can be diagnosed within just a few weeks of onset using a series of objective tests. For example, MRI and SPECT brain scans. Abnormalities are also visible on physical exam in ME. ME is a long-term or lifelong neurological disease that affects hundreds of thousands of adults and children worldwide. In some cases, ME is fatal and causes of death in ME include heart failure. 